Okay, well, so these are actually just normal reflector telescopes, just like, uh, and I think these are standard Cassegrain. So if you look, the light will come from space and hit the primary mirror here. So this is the primary mirror, this 12 meter mirror. It gets reflected onto, I can't get the secondary, where is it? How can it? Up. There we go. This is the secondary, this little thing up here, the secondary mirror here. And then that reflected back into, there we go, this hole there in the primary mirror. And just behind that hole is the receiver that transforms the, uh, that transforms the light into an electric signal that we then process and send to the correlator and so on. But so this is a pretty standard reflector telescope, uh, just like you may have seen at the VLT at Paranal and so on. If you look carefully at the antennas, they're not just one big large piece of, of aluminum or of metal. They're made of, of over 200 uh, individual panels, and each of the panels obviously have to be adjusted so you get a perfect parabolic mirror. That adjustment is made down at the, uh, at the lower side, at 3,000 meters, but it's made by hand. So each of the panels, if you look carefully, has five screws, and so initially they make an image of that mirror, and so they, they tell, oh, that panel is a little too high, that panel is a little too low, that one's a little too tilted, they, gave that, they give that image to the engineers and the engineers by hand have to go and put in a quarter turn on that screw, half a turn on that screw. It takes a whole day to adjust that whole par parabola and then you repeat the, the exercise a couple times to get down to the accuracy you need to be able to observe as the, at these 7 millimeter waves. There's lots of different types of antennas but really there's two classes of antennas. There's these big ones. These big ones are 12 meter antennas and that's the majority of them. Most of the antennas that we have in Alma are 12 meter antennas, which are, you know, pretty big. And then we have behind you over there, um, we have these seven meter antennas. So they're, they're, they look cute because they're small, but uh, they're still pretty big. Seven meters is pretty big. The reason that choice was made is that those seven meters antennas can actually be packed much closer together. You can put them much closer together. And in the whole scheme of things, that kind of gives you, it's like if in your eye you had two different areas. One area to see things with good sensitivity, but to see things with high resolution. And then an area where you pack detectors much closer together and you can see things with much higher sensitivity. So that's what that, those, those antennas are there for. Away from the main array that we can see over there. And, um, and so now we can have a kind of a global view of the whole area. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong and actually does go wrong and our job is to fix it. <laughs>